So we're rolling right along here. In the previous video, I'm sorry, hello and welcome to the PC Machine on Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. We're on the Faster 7 series where I show you how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system. Now, in the previous videos, we've done a lot, a big wide range of things. Uh, but now we're actually going to get into the optimization section of this, which means that you're actually going to make your Windows operating system faster. As, as of this point, it should be to where it's pretty much going to be on average. And then, uh, obviously, after this, you're going to make it go faster. So, we're going to open up Glary Utilities again, as we did in the previous video. And uh, obviously, we've already done our one-click maintenance, so the next step's actually really easy. Uh, we're going to go to the Modules section, and you'll notice I mentioned this in the previous video. And we're going to select the Optimize and Improve section, and then we're going to select Startup Manager. Now, a lot of people will modify their Windows system startup by clicking on the Start button and typing in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G and pressing Enter. And uh, that's going to bring up their MS Confi Microsoft Configuration Utility. And then they click Tools. No, I'm sorry, they click Startup. And then these are all the things that are starting when your Windows boots up, okay? Now, I have preferred to actually, since, since recently, I've started to use this utility to actually modify my startup. Because what they do is they have an online reference for rating your uh, startup. And the nice thing about this is, so let me, let me go ahead and make this window bigger here. That way I don't, you know, confuse you or anything. But what these are is everything with the checkbox on the left hand side here is actually uh, going to start on my boot up and everything that's not a checkbox will not start on my boot up. And what we have here is our rating. So you can see that like QuickTime is mostly red and uh, mostly uh, and a very little green. The higher the green, the more necessary it is to start on Windows boot up or the more popular it is to start on Windows boot up. Anything that's black without a rating, you're still going to have to Google. So the, the rule of thumb is obviously if you have like half a red, you probably don't have to have it on startup, it's optional. So you had Google update starting on startup. I really don't have to have that start on startup. In fact, I prefer it doesn't. Malwarebytes doesn't really have to start on startup, but uh, as you can see, most people have it start on startup. But see, now we run into a situation of Dell Webcam Central, okay? It doesn't have a rating. So then all you have to do is you see this ex executable right here on the right side, it says web, webcam dell2.exe. Just remember that, or just keep it open, and go to your browser, and go to google.com. It was webcam dell2.exe, I believe. Press enter. And what we have here is you, if you scroll down, usually you'll see something, uh, file diagnosis information, or usually you wanna look for something like this. What is webcam dell2 process? So you can click on that so we can learn what this is. And then if we scroll down, we can see virus, not applicable, not applicable, not applicable, security zero. And we can just go over this. And part of Webcam Dell 2 from Creative Technologies, a program is not important for your system process, but should not be terminated unless suspected to be causing problems. So that kind of answers our question, you know. It's not suspicious. It's not, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound dangerous. Obviously, it's something that you shouldn't shut down unless you think it's causing you problems. So obviously it's my webcam utility, I know what it is. But that's just one example of how you would do this. So I would go back to my startup here in Glary Utilities, my startup manager, and I would leave that one checked off because I obviously want to keep that one running. Now that's pretty much all there is to this episode. You can even sort by rating obviously if you click here at the top and uh, you can get a look at all of your least popular things. And obviously if they're all really, really badly rated, you don't want them starting on Windows Startup. And you will be amazed if you, most of you will have everything checked off, but you will be amazed what happens when you uncheck all of these things and then you restart your computer. Because normally I've done this on computers. Every time I sit down in front of a new computer, I do this first. And I have had computers get 200 to 300% faster just on this step alone. So this is a great place to start because a lot of people see a significant difference in it. And really it's all uphill from here. This is, this is usually one of the biggest hindrances. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you modify your uh, Windows startup using Glary Utilities. Now again, you can use it the other way, but you have to Google everything, which I don't prefer to do. Um, and uh, as always, leave comments and ratings and share with friends and family. Uh, that way you can help PC Michiana grow. So thanks for stopping by.